Hi friends, you are watching Joel John's YouTube channel. Press the thumbs up icon below. Press the subscribe icon. Wait for the bell symbol and enable all notification to get my videos regularly on your uh, inbox and updates. And also share your valuable comments. Can do you, what do you think about this animal? Do you like to have them as pet? And after getting the details on this video, still you like to have them as pet and your opinions on that. And also general comments are welcome. And uh, also press the share icon and you will get see all the social media logos. Share it on there. And this is green iguana on the screen now. And in this video, you'll get a lot of details. And in future videos also, I'll try to give details about the animals. And in previous video, you may have that on the description. So click on the description for looking at the text format and see more updates, more details. So now to start with green iguana. Uh, and in this video, we will see that it's a cycle like we're taking rest now, moving around, eating and even excreting. And the green iguana is also called as American iguana, common green iguana. In Tamil language, it's called as Pache Udumbu or Pache Perundi. In common, we call it as uh, Onan, Onan in Tamil. So now it's on the display as well. And now it's going to excrete. And now to get introduction details about that, the green iguana, also known as the American iguana or the common green iguana, is a large arboreal that is living on trees and plants, mostly herbivorous, that is they mostly feed on plants and uh, fruits like that, vegetables. Species of the lizard of the genus iguana. Usually this animal is simply called as iguana. Lifespan. The lifespan of an iguana is on average 12 to 15 years. When well cared for, a healthy iguana can easily supersede that and live for more than 20 years. Temperature. Iguana requires a high ambient temperature in their terrera, that is the living area, which is about 95 Fahrenheit to 100 Fahrenheit, and on cages they opt for about 80 to 85 Fahrenheit. Iguanas also need high humidity in their cages we should be kept at around 70 percentage. This will help to prevent poor shedding and kidney diseases on the species. Characteristics Iguana's short bill gives them a clumsy look, but they are fast and agile on the land. They have strong jaws with razor sharp teeth and sharp tails, which make half of the body length and can be used as wipes to drive off their predators. Now you are seeing water monitor lizard. Growth rate, iguana size and growth rate. Iguanas can take several years to reach full size, most which will achieve full size on around four years, but some will continue to grow for up to seven or eight years. It will also grow at different speeds and start fast, but growth will slow considerably after three to five years of age. Is a green iguana a good pet? Though iguanas make great pets for reptile lovers, they do not make great pets for all. Iguanas are very, pets for, very bad pets for animals who do not have the financial means to care for them. That is, you need to spend a lot for taking care of these creatures on a daily basis, apart from their price as well, when you buy them. Time to provide a proper care. You should also have, spend a meaningful time with your pets, if you have these as pets. Or resting to leave the iguana alone. Iguanas make especially bad pets for children, so don't leave iguanas with your children. They are not good pets for childs. Do green iguana bites? Iguanas do bite people, but only in self-defense. Their sharp teeth are especially created to tear plants apart, but could be really painful to humans. Fortunately, they give a warning before doing so. It will stand up on its legs lean forward and move its head as a sign that they feel threatened. That these animals when get threatened, they will give warning signs. And you can see the uh, nails of the water monitor lizard just a few minutes before. Do iguanas run fast? An iguana can travel at a speed of up to 21 miles per hour. Do iguanas get attached to their owners? Iguanas have individual personalities. They can vary from 
tranquil and laid back to aggressive and dominant. The nature can be very difficult to live with and care for. The more common iguanas, however, tend to bound with their person but may only endure handling by that individual. That is, if uh, the behavior of the iguana depends on that particular iguana and it cannot be generalized. And also, if it's tamed well, it will be very friendly with that particular person who tames it or its owner. It's not with all. And also, some species of iguana will be some particular iguana will be aggressive and dominant. It will be very hard to take care for such a particular iguana. Do iguanas like to be petted? We pet them. But do they like that? Or iguanas? Affectionate. Iguanas are not necessarily affectionate, but you might tame and bound with your iguana over time. For this, you will have to handle and spend time with your iguana, really since it's young, regularly also. Tamed iguanas recognize their owners and become tolerant of handling and petting. If you tame your animal from the kit, it will allow you to your iguana mainly, it will allow you to pet. It's okay for it. And now we are going to see about the Asian monitor lizard or water monitor lizard. In Tamil, it is called as Neer Kangani Pupalli or Neer Udumbu. Asian water monitor lizard is a very large variant lizard native to South and Southeastern Asia. It is one of the most common monitor lizards in Asia, ranging from the coastal Northeast India, Sri Lanka, mainland Southeast Asia to Indonesian islands, where it lives close to water. It is listed as least concern in the IUC and red list. What is the price of these lizards, that's the water monitor lizards? You may be able to find its a hashling, a recently hashed animal from its egg, for about $300 or so. But unless you are an expert, keeping it alive until it's fully grown can be a Herculean, that is a difficult task. A fully mature, pre-socialized Asian monitor lizard will easily cost about $15,000 or more, even if you don't socialize the animal, it will cost, if it's fully grown, about $15,000. Who are its predators? Asian monitor lizards differ from their predators using their tails, claws, and jaws. When hunted by its predators such as king cobra, that is the largest venomous snake in the world, they will climb trees using their powerful legs and claws. If this evasion, that is the act of avoiding its predator, is not enough to escape the danger, they may jump from the trees into the streams of, for, of water for safety. Growth Asian water monitor size and descriptions They have a truly astounding, that is amazing growth rate. Even season keepers are still surprised at the gain these animals can make in a short period. Hatchlings, a recently hatched water monitor lizard from its egg, will start out at about uh, 10 inches long and will prominently grow several feet in a year under optimal conditions, that if proper care is taken, they will grow at a huge size in one year. Do water monitor lizards lay eggs? When and how? The egg laying season extends from April to October and most female water monitor lizards in southern Sumantra produces multiple clutches of each year. So in one year it will lay eggs multiple times, that is many times. Large females being begin to breed earlier in the year than the smaller ones do. Clutch size range from 5 to 22, that is when they lay one time, they may lay up from 5 to 22 and will positively correlate it with the maternal body size, that's the size of the female. Uh, based on the size of the female, the more the eggs will be. Personality. Asian water monitor lizards are quite intelligent and can become very friendly and even seek out for human attention, that is they also like to be petted. Baby monitors being small uh, or naturally a bit venomous. Uh, because we are large, that is, you are large and scary to them. However, water monitors are very curious. Do What do water monitor lizards eat? Water monitors is an extremely carnivore, that is, they feed on other living creatures. This means that the lizard will eat about any animal that it believes it can consume. If it thinks that it can swallow it, it will go for it. Among some of the common prey include birds and their eggs, small mammals, especially rats, fishes, lizards, frogs, snakes, jewelry and crocodiles, that is baby crocodiles and tortoise. Can water monitors be pet? Asian water monitors can make unique pets for anyone who has lots of time and good experience on handling them and good financial, that's money, to take care of them. With the best care, these giant lizards can live for more than 15 years. Some species even 
become tamed and seek for, out for human contact. That's when you tame them, they will look for being petted by you. How big do a water monitor lizard go? It grows up to 5 to 8 feet. Being a sexually dimorphic species on size, uh, the male ones are bigger than the female ones. It's about 5 to 8 feet and the female ones normally grow to a maximum of 4 to 6 feet. There are certain cases in which water monitor lizards have surpassed this size, but such cases are considered exceptional. Is water monitor lizard a good pet for harmful for human beings? Water monitor lizards by nature stays away from human beings, but when probed, they attack. According to HT report, the statutory board of government of Singapore National Park Board N Pox has stated that the venom of monitor lizards has a mild effects on human beings, but they use their venoms against small animals. And this saliva in this uh, species mouth may have infectious bacteria which may also harm them. So comment below what you think about this animal. Bye.